I don't think it's a matter that we were always against um, calling for a state of emergency. It's more that to be targeted as to where the problems are, as opposed to throw a white blanket and affect a lot of people that have nothing to do with this. We believe we have to be more targeted to the area and as to how the minister um, um, Musa explained um, to us, there's just one small area, geographic area in the south side that is creating havoc that they have tried as best as they can, talking to them, trying to mediate and asking them to pull it down. But they don't, it seems that they don't want to listen. And they believe that the only way we could really calm things down is to, to, to call for a state of emergency just in that very small targeted area. What is your administration's plan to address the increase seeing a crime issue in Southside Belize City? As the Commissioner of Police rightly alluded to, it's not solely the police department's fight. Yes, it is the fight of the community. I think that's what he was meaning. We are doing everything that we can, but there's just a small group of people, maybe a hundred or two hundred that are creating havoc, and we can't let them, we cannot allow them to dictate how we live. Meaning that we need to go after these people that are creating this, um, that they're just creating uh, um, crime with no, with no conscience, just out there shooting. I mean, this young guy, I mean, it broke my heart. This, this young kid, a third farmer from um, St. John's, Osman, right? Kasman. Uh, huh? Kasman. Uh -huh. Pas what was him? Kasman. Yes, Osman, yes. That was shot, you know, randomly. I mean, if that were to happen, oh, my kids are dead, honestly. I mean, I know why we have to, he's fighting for his life, and if he lives, he, I'm told he will not be able to walk. I mean, and these guys just don't care. We can't allow them to continue to terrorize us. So we have to go at them with everything that we have.